Hi there. I'm Andrew Erickson. And I hate the chip readers! No, this isn't really related to technology, but I, I guess it kind of is, because I want to talk more about Apple Pay and how great that is. But recently, I don't know if it's happening where you are, but here in California anyway, all the new banks are switching to the chip. Instead of having a swipe card, which is very simple by the way, very intuitive design, you know, you can just take your little card out of your wallet, there's a little line on whatever the reader is, wherever you're buying something, whether it be fast food or groceries, and you just make one motion. So and you're done and it goes back in. Maybe you have to sign something, but typically that's it. It's very simple. But because the swipe obviously has some problems, as in it was very easy for people to steal your credit card, banks don't like that, they want to make something that's more secure, they do something that probably a lot of Europe is doing. I've never been to Europe, so I don't know if you guys use the chip, but I've heard you do. Regardless, now here in Northern California, they are really pushing that you use the chip reader. They had to get all new sensors in every single store so that you can start inserting your card now, which is no longer one swift easy motion before it was pull card out so wipe you are done put the card back in now it is pull card out insert wait 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 for the authorization to pass hopefully if you're lucky it'll pass and then you can remove the card and take it out and put it back in this already takes longer even when it's supposed to work and that's the thing though it usually doesn't for some people it's been working great but for me anyways half of the places i use my credit card at i insert the chip and it fails instantly it doesn't even try i just insert it and it goes fail fail to recognize and then the register person has to go oh yeah it does that take it out try it again i take it out i chip it in again nope fails again pull it out then they press a couple buttons and they go, oh, try it now. I'm like, what are you pressing back there? Is there a switch that says off and on? And you're just like, oh yeah, on. Oh, now it should work. Insert it this time and it says authorizing. Wait, wait, wait. And you gotta wait another 10 seconds. Maybe, and then it hopefully works. Then you remove it. <sighs> okay, I get that we're trying to protect our investments. We're trying to protect our credit cards from being stolen. But do we really have to go with the solution that is no one can steal your credit card if no one can use it? And that includes you. No one's gonna be stealing my credit card because I can't even use it. They made the process of spending money so much more complicated that way stealing it will be such a hassle the criminals won't even bother. It's the 21st century people. We are smarter than this. The swipe version of credit cards has been around for decades and decades. Yes it has some problems and I agree it's time for us to change but there is a very easy and noticeable change we can all make right now. It's NFC with mobile payments and I'm not just talking about Apple Pay. I'm talking about Samsung Pay which is even more accessible than Apple Pay is. You can do that almost anywhere. You've got Android Pay that you can do from, of course, any Android smartphone or Android smart watches. Typically support that if you're using Android Wear. I'm sorry, but you have that option. Of course, one of the best ones I think I've ever used in my life is the Apple Pay on the Apple Watch. Because on this one, you don't have to use your fingerprint. Because on this one, you don't have to unlock your phone. Your phone stays in your pocket. Your watch is on your wrist, okay? You don't have to take it out. It's not like a credit card that you have to hand over to some stranger. And if you're at a sit-down restaurant, they may pick it up and take it and then they scan it on their illegal machine and that's how they replicate your card. It's happened to my parents before. When it's on your watch, the actual register user doesn't see a thing. You literally don't even have to look at them. There's very few places, unfortunately, in Orville, California, where I live, that actually support Apple Pay, but when they do, it is the most convenient thing I've ever done. A store like Rayleigh supports Apple Pay and I love it. You scan all your items in the self-checkout thing and then all of the payment options appear and you just double tap the multitasking button on your Apple Watch, your little credit card appears, and all you gotta do is tilt it and hold it near the screen, and within a second, the watch taps you and goes bing bing, you did it, you're done, and it registers, and it authorizes fairly quickly. The great thing about that is I didn't have to pull anything out of my pockets. Maybe my hands are full, maybe I'm trying to hold bags and other groceries, or if you have a very busy lifestyle, maybe you have kids, maybe you're on the phone, whatever, it's great that you can pay for something without having to use your hands. You just tilt and go bling, you're done, instead of, you know, you ladies having to dig it out of your purse trying to find the card, insert the chip, waiting another 10 seconds, and then pulling it out and being, okay, now we're good. There is such an easy solution and no one is adopting it. The most frustrating thing is when I see restaurants that have the Apple Pay sticker and I'm like, okay, great, an actual convenient user-friendly store. I go in there and I say, where do I hold my Apple Watch? Where's the Apple Pay? And the people at the register don't know what I'm talking about. They're like, what's that? Oh, we haven't set that up. We don't know how to do it. I go, okay, pull out my credit card. I swipe it because they have that swipe slide at the top and 
they go, oh, you gotta use the chip. And I'm like, dang it, come on, that doesn't work. The swipe was there before. Instead of telling every single register person in the entire country that they need to remind every single customer at every single transaction that they need to use the chip and they can't use the swipe, how about we do something that business was supposed to do and put the customer first, right? And say, if the customer takes out their card and they swipe before you reminded them to use the chip, then just accept the swipe. Be like, okay, my fault, I should have reminded you earlier. We've been using swipe for decades now. I don't know why we have to make you do it three times. I think collectively we're wasting like years in terms of man hours of how like every single day each person has to wait 10 to 15 seconds to make a transaction. And yet we all have smartphones that are capable of doing Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay. All the pays, it's so easy. On Android, your phone just has to be unlocked and you hold it near the reader and bam, you're done. I did that when I had Android smartphones. The reason I'm ranting about this is because I think there's such a clear right way. There's something that's easy. There's something that's secure and it's far less likely that you're going to have your credit card stolen or duplicated. It's far less likely. Of course, nothing is unhackable, but mobile payments is nearly impossible to hack into versus the swipe card. And I think the chip reader is a step in the opposite direction because it actually takes longer to use. There are more steps to using the chip reader than there are just the simple swipe, which again, yes, we need to move away from, but the solution is right in front of us and we're not taking it. We're telling everyone the switch to the chip. You can't swipe even if you have that option to swipe the card. The chip reader has to fail three times for that to work. So America, wake up. Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Android Pay, whatever it is, we need to make that the standard. That is the way of the future. That is easier. That is safer. And it would save us so much time. This video makes it viral. I can die happy. I'd be fine with that. Just something I'm sick of and I have the authority to talk about it because I have a big YouTube channel. There's definitely bigger channels out there. But it's big in my opinion, biggest YouTube channel I've ever owned. So I'm using my platform to tell the world we have a problem, there's a solution, let's act on it. I'm Andrew Erickson and I approve this message. And this is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.